This is Don Johnson, Airbrush Gallery. Here's a couple more tech tips for you. First one I have is when you're buffing an object, be it a car, motorcycle, in this case it's a helmet, you're going to get rubbing compound and finishing compound, glazing compound in little cracks or areas where it's going to dry and it's hard to get out of. Best thing I've found to use to get the rubbing, <coughs> buffing compound or glazing compound out is simply baby oil. Just a little dab of baby oil, you wipe it wherever the dried compound is that you're having trouble removing and it'll come right out and it won't harm the paint. That's the first little tech tip. The other tech tips, I'm going to have to swing the camera around. I hope you don't mind. First one is on uh, the shop, my shop floor. I found that using uh, heavy-duty construction paper from Home Depot uh, works great for a floor covering. No matter where your shop may be, if it's in a room in your house, your garage, wherever. Um, Covering the floor and keeping the floor in the shop clean is essential to come having uh, quality, dust-free, nice paint jobs. So I'll swing the camera around now and show you how I just laid this heavy-duty construction paper on the floor. And this is the only time I'll suggest using cheap tape, but it works out fine. So here we go. That's the construction paper I use. It's like $12 a roll at Home Depot. And as you can see, it, it works great on the floor. When it gets dirty, you just <coughs> roll it up, throw it away, and put in more paper down. The other tech tip I want to give you is, this is the bottom of my helmet stand. I have a plastic piece that goes under like a hot water heater again from Home Depot so when I pull tape and stuff off it all falls in that tray not on the floor and then I just clean that tray out and we're good to go it's pretty handy it works out real well no matter what you're airbrushing you may want to give this a try third tech tip I have is how to keep your tape clean you don't want to lay it on the surface uh, You'll get the edges dirty, and that's not a good thing. So I always hang my tape up. I've got this little pegboard that I built, and that's where all my fine line and different kinds of tape go. I never lay it on the, my studio counter or anything. It always gets hung up so that it stays clean. And the